The Earth's atmosphere can be visually stunning or downright menacing, but on a deeper level, atmospheric phenomena also create a secret world of electromagnetic waves. Fortunately, many of these waves are in the audio range and can be heard with a simple device called a VLF receiver. Today, I will demonstrate the Heliosis AR1 VLF receiver and how to record the sounds to your computer. Here is the uh, Heliosis model AR1 uh, atmospheric receiver. Um, here's the antenna that comes with it, and we're going to attach the antenna first to get started. And then we're going to turn on the speaker volume to about halfway, and then we're going to turn on the power switch and adjust the intensity. Okay, with the air one on, adjust the antenna position so that it has no feedback, and adjust the power and volume controls until you can hear the clicking in the background. That's the distant clicking of lightning bursts, perhaps 1,000 kilometers away. And by rotating the unit, you, the electromagnetic interference will increase or decrease, so find the place where that interference is minimum, and that's about here. We're testing the Helinosis AR1 natural atmospheric sound receiver at the Bruce Trail overlooking the Greater Toronto Area in Canada. The AR1 is plugged into a laptop which is currently recording using the Audacity software. Uh, lightning and uh, other atmospheric sounds are recorded and can be viewed later and expanded and uh, analyzed as desired. The free Audacity recording software is available for PCs and Macs at www.audacity.sourceforge.net. The AR1 receiver, we keep it approximately three to six feet away from the laptop since the electromagnetic noise from the laptop can cause interference with the very sensitive receiver and loop antenna. Here we have the Audacity software running on a Windows XP laptop and uh, currently it is streaming lightning strikes and other atmospheric sounds from the AR1 uh, directly through the microphone input on the front of the laptop and uh, <clears throat> each burst is displayed as spikes on the display that can be on the computer display that can be zoomed in on afterwards. Currently it's recording and you can record for many many hours depending on the size of your hard drive. Here are some examples a ground strike, a violent burst of cloud lightning, several tweaks. To clean up the recording, first select a short section with only background noise by left clicking and dragging. Zoom in to inspect by selecting view and then zoom selection. If the zoom noise contains only background noise, select Effect and then Noise Removal from the pull-down tab. Click on the Get Noise Profile button using a fast attack decay of 0, 0.00 seconds. Select View, then Zoom Normal to see the recordings track normally. Now marquee a short part of the recording with large lightning strikes to test the noise profile. Go to the effect, noise removal, and now click OK. If the noise profile is good, the lightning burst should only shrink in height by half at most. The thick band of noise should become much thinner. Select Edit, undo noise removal, then select Edit, select all. Go to the effect, noise removal, and select OK to apply the noise removal to the entire selected recording. With the recordings cleaned up, it will be easier to find the best atmospheric sounds such as tweaks, whistlers, and auroral chorus.